Okay, so I have a baby lock coronet, and um, I will say I, I love it. I absolutely love it. It's a long arm. I, I love it. Um, the one thing is that... Hello. We have a little visitor, Josiah. Is with me. <laughs> hmm. Um, one thing about it, though, is that I really call this, instead of long arming, I call it more like hoop quilting because I really am confined by my hoop. So, I'm going to show you how I kind of move it down the hoop. First thing, I take these off um, my sewing table, and I do plan on doing a tour of my sewing room. So, if you're curious how I store things and everything else, go ahead and check out that video. But for right now, I'm going to take, and I'm just going to put all my parts and pieces on my sewing I chair right here. What? I just love you, babe. Oh, I just love you too, buddy. All right, so what I do is when I take, I use the small rings first. And I use them for, I mean, literally, this is, this is a lap size quilt, or um, just a throw quilt size, actually. It's 50 by 60 maybe uh, by 66 or something like that um anyway I take and I kind of keep it bound there so as I, I just kind of I take it off and I'll show you how I set it on there but I, I take it off and I do keep it bound hey buddy put that down there on the chair okay so now my parts and pieces are like this I have the quilt draped over the front here I have it pulled up and under and over here so there's no bulk underneath I have my bars set here. This is a smaller quilt. I just have three across the back. I do have one on the side. I'll kind of show you how I do that. And, um, and that really does benefit things. Um, and it, especially with big quilts. In big quilts, I do that. I do three across the back. And I actually do one on the side, whichever half of the quilt I'm working on. Um, that really keeps things nice and taut and straight. Then I'm going to pull these off. And remember, I just set them on my little chair here. Um, so remember, I had everything still bound. I'm just gonna pull up visually where I can see, don't touch by me, kind of where I want my, move this down a little bit because I do have lots of room here. And then I'm gonna put that first one, thank you baby. You are a good helper. And this last one off. Oh, probably have to move. I'll go ahead and do four across the back. It's fine. Okay, now, for right now, I'm just going to set that over the back there. Here's, here's what I learned. Uh, hold on, I'm not ready yet. So, you see how I'm, I'm ready to do, like, my last block, basically, and then I have my border. Now, if I'm just doing a corner to corner, and when you first start it, you probably are, um, you would, you would need that corner in the frame. Well, I only have a couple inches of fabric there. So that's where I already talked about, I sew on my little, um, I don't know, this is like a, what do you think, 12 inches <laughs> extra piece of flannel. Now I have something, thank you buddy, you are the best helper. Now I have something to kind of grip over the edge. Now the beautiful part about this is that I actually only need to right there. And in fact, I might have to move this down a little more. I do have it pinned around the edges and I go ahead and I start pulling those out as I use. And again, you'll see kind of where I put those pins and everything else. But as I use the... Thank you, baby. Hold on, let me get this. You are just a wonderful little helper. Okay, I'm going to pull that nice and taut, put my pin, and again, I'll kind of show you how I organize everything. It actually does have a, a rhyme or reason, and I'm going to go ahead and just pull all these pins out because I don't want them getting... I've learned the hard way that if you try to put your uh, clamps on there <laughs> with the pins, it, it doesn't go well for the pins. So, and I am actually just trying to clamp in that last little bit of fabric. Now, before I just kind of move everything and adjust, here's what I'm going to do. Do you see how slow my machine pulls? It is not playing around, folks. If there is any kind of drag, any kind of resistance, 
man this thing. It moves slow. It doesn't like you. Just gonna make sure I can almost get in that corner. Just gonna make sure I can get to all my corners while well, this is part of the bulk. Okay, so bulk, good. And we're good. If I'm just doing a corner to corner, honestly, at that point, I would just, um, okay, don't touch it, baby. if I was just doing like a, a, a corner to corner or just doing like an all over quilt, I wouldn't worry so much about corner to, you know, that kind of thing, measuring my space. The problem is I have a 14 inch block. And if you really look, that's actually about my sewing space. So I'm just trying to make sure that I stay within my sewing. All right. So now what I'm doing is now I'm rolling it up. If this were a really big and bulky quilt, um, I would roll it very tight. I would be very particular about it as it is. This is my last row. I'm pretty much done. I'm, I'm pretty cool with what I have. Now, here's what I do. I hook it to one of the clamp handles. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bind this up and I'm still using the little one. This is a throw size quilt and I'm still using my little clamp. Now I'm gonna clamp it, but I, I tie it to that, um, that clamp handle in the back there. Yes, I'm gonna add my third one, maybe down here. I'm making feathers, Zaya. Me make feathers and I'll add my fourth one here now when I really get up in there I'm gonna to want to move this bulk that is okay I prefer to have it forward like this because when my machine is here I want this to be totally flush with the bar that gives me all this space up here when I'm back here I can use one hand to kind of lift it up and get in there. That is my personal preference. Again, if I was, if this was a big bulky quilt, we would have it stacked up high. Okay, as it is right now, it's kind of, yeah, it's pretty movable. Okay, I'm gonna just tighten everything up. I'm gonna check it underneath and make sure I don't have any obvious puckers. And actually, I am gonna go ahead and remove one of these. I'm gonna put it on the side. Just tighten it on the side. And now we are good to go. I call this dialing. I, I like to put all my clamps down and then, but I put them down like pretty top, but not super. And then I decide I'm gonna like dial them and then I like dial them tight. These I like to dial down this way. Um, these I like to dial back, but you have to be careful because if you have a handle once this bumps up, I mean, there's a pretty, there's almost like a one inch difference between if it's bumping against a handle or even just the clamp. It's about a one inch difference between just the clamp and then the, the raw bar. So you just really need to be careful about that.